Okay, so the answer appears uh, most popular is A, and what was the reasoning? Why is it A? Yeah. Okay. Um, there, one of them is glyphosate, but it's also glyphosate. Okay. And so those will, and then um, if you look at A, theta is 60 degrees, and using the formula, um, torque is uh, R S R and theta. It comes out to the square root of the rate of change, which is greater than half. Okay. So in this case, I guess I would argue, maybe I'll make that longer, so 60 degrees that I could decompose the force into F parallel and F perpendicular. And the component of the force that's parallel to the radial vector doesn't do anything, it doesn't produce any torque, and the component that is perpendicular does, and the argument was that um, the sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, and so therefore force A is going to produce a larger torque than B or C. Force A, torque A would be, what is the whole length? L? Yeah, L times F root 3 over 2. Torque B was torque C. And those were L over 2 times F. Okay? Good.